Hello and welcome back to Lenocity. See this right here? See this? This, 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 this. See this? This number API lower. Unacceptable! We're going to do some extracurricular games. And we're going to have some extracurricular music. Not that there was a, curric a basic curricular anyway. Let's have a... Uh, ah! William Bert. Ooh, I like birds. A mass for five voices? Hmm. I, I don't know about these voices. Let's move on to Serpentier. No, we've done that before. Erem Cactarajun. Oh, you mean Cacatarian? Cacatarian. Okay. Yeah, totally. Right. <laughs> The Saber Dance is a movement in the final act of a performed by Marcus Stab. It's a very lively piece. Well done. Just the piano cannot um, capture the um, the full like. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 the piano is a sad history for this, but whatever. And the Sabre Dance is a movement in the final act of Aaron Kakaterian's 1942 ballet Guyenne. The movement, especially its middle section, is based on Armenian folk music. That is Armenian, in case you're wondering if it's like American. No, it is Armenian. It is a widely considered and Kakaterian's most famous work, though I much prefer the waltz from uh, Masquerade. That, that's just me. In 1948, the Sibidans became a jukebox hit in the United States. Well, I didn't live in 1948, now did I? So how would I know that? How would I have listened to it in a jukebox? The piece was further made popular by covers by pop artists. Yeah, I don't, not, not in my time. First from the US and later in other countries. Such as the UK and Germany. Its use in a wide range of films and TV series over the decades have significantly contributed to its renown. No oh, doubt you've heard it. The Sabre Dance has also been used by a number of figure skaters. Tom Huizinga of MPR describes it as one of the catchiest, most familiar, perhaps most maddening tunes that come out of the 20th century. Billboard magazine calls it a piece that's known to every pop orchestra in existence. Erem Kakaturian was a Soviet Armenian composer. Alongside Sergei Prokofiev and Dmitry Sostakovich, Kotekurian is sometimes called one of the three titans of Soviet music. He is also considered one of the major musicians of the 20th century. Kakaturian's works were often influenced by classical European music and Armenian folk music. Born to an Armenian family, Kakaturian moved to Awaska at the age of 19. He graduated from the Moscow Conservatory in 1934. Kakaturian is famous for the Adagio of Spartacus and Frigga from his ballet Spartacus and for the Sabre Dance from his ballet Agayane and the Adagio from the same ballet, but used in films and daily series around the world. But Masquerade's my favorite. You never heard of Frigia? I have heard of Spartacus, though, and that's a good, that's a very good ballet. Very, very good. Oh, your face! I'm joking. If you don't strike me down from the grave, please, that would be dead suck. You just came up and ate my brains out just for saying that. Which, oh, your face! Oh, gosh. Marcus Stab, well done, sir. Not really, but pfft, it's all right. It's all right. Yes, I've heard better, but well, just, no, no. Um, I wouldn't consider him very similar to Sergei Prokofiev. Perhaps to Dmitry Sostakovich, but no. I, 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 mm, I don't know. Okay, that was fun. It didn't last any longer than my um speaking about that guy. It's a problem. All right, on to Inst Dawson. 
Oh, please, play at least one. Hurt, hurt. Oh, oh, have this played. And I'll just go on and start playing a game. And when I'm done this, I'll go back and read what we're hearing. Read about what we're hearing, all right? All right, it's, it's beautiful. It's waiting shades. It's free new information. Oh, please, shut up with that voice. It hurts to hear it. Oh. And why must you insist on speaking over this music, huh? Why play if you're just going to speak over it and not listen to it? You know, I don't know. I just thought, I just thought one day to myself, you know what I need? Some music. But, you know what, I, I'm not sure this is, I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure about it. But it is. So, regardless of whether it should be here, it is here, so stop complaining about it. Alright. Jacob, stop complaining. You fool. Alright. Hmm, too easy. Well, not easy, just. Yes! I knew it! Somehow. What? A win! Oh, come on! No! That wasn't obvious at all. It's not supposed to be obvious. You think you can just come in here? And automatically tell me what it is, what's correct? Yes. Yes, I'm using epic brain power. Epic estimation power. Yes! Yes, I'm on a roll! Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is that? Ah, I think they would have been right if I'd done it the way I was going to. Ah. 22,200. It's a win. Or is it? Six in 66. Six. 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 Eh, it's not that bad. It just looks like a year. It was a real year, 1666. I don't think it was a bad year. There was a year 666. There was a year negative 666. Well, BC, or perhaps BCE, depending on who you are. And, um, there was a, neg there was a year negative 166. It was, there was a negative 166. Point is! There's been a lot of days with 666 in it, so I don't really think that's a bad thing. Why well, there's been a date negative 666666. And my passport's got 666 on it, so what? What problem? Okay. Alright, we remember what to do, right? Speed in our Just, Just make moves, just click on fish. It doesn't matter if it's right. It just matters if it's fast. Let's go. Click, click, clickity, click, clack, click, clack. Ah, ah, click, click, remember, click. Just remember to click. You don't have to be right, just. You don't have to remember what you're clicking on. Just have to remember to click on something. It's brilliant. Yes, yes, I'm on a bloody row. That's right, I'm on stop. <laughs> Up a ball. Man, that was the... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That was the most incredible rule of epically winning. Totally guessed. Totally guessed. Guesses clicking that I'm ev I've ever done. That was just unbelievably awesome. You know what I'm saying? All right. Mm. And there we have it. The first movement to whatever it was I just had played for you. Through my speakers and then recorded. Ah, I thought that was not what I was... I didn't know. Ah, I didn't think that was... Ah! What a shame that sh that epic guessing thing could have gotten me up to higher than I did end up being. A fail. Well, anyway, 
Ask me about it a second one. I'm going to tell you some things about what we're hearing. Ernst Dawson. Oh, by the way, before my UB and archive, sure they would very much like me to tell you that. By the way, that was actually a second movement, and this is the third. Go figure. Uh, I don't I think what happened is why the time we have to cut that thing out. Oh, cut it. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, come on. All right, we're going to have to play it back from here. Oh, 11.30. Oh, pfft, oh, pfft. Ernst Tolson was a French romantic composer who did all just as his career was beginning to flourish. Oh, sad. I should go to sad voice. Ernst Tolson was born in Paris into a prosperous bourgeois family. Ah, oh, hey, he's well off. Come on, no sympathy. His father made his fortune assisting Baron Ausman in the redevelopment of Paris. In 1850s, to please his father, Johnson studied law and was appointed a barrister for the Court of Appeals. But in truth, he had little or no interest in the law. He frequented the Paris salons where he met celebrities such as Henri Fontaine Leteur, Odilon Redoun, and Vincent Endy. Before definitively deciding on his career, he dabbled in writing and drawing. How very interesting. Compo- not really. No, yes, really, I'm sorry. What, what is wrong? I'm being so... It's like, oh, that sucks. Dude. What is... Why? Why? Not everything sucks. Goodness. Composed between 1889 and 1891. And this composition has been described as the fine Catarizer's gaze of Bourne. Well, it does not employ the traditional orchestra versus solo setting, it nevertheless manages to avoid sounding like a traditional sex work. The string quartet functions as an accompaniment, leaving the main rules for the solo violin and the piano. Chasson chose to avoid the Wagnerian sound. A oh, Wagnerian sound, so I didn't realize what the word was until I read it. Instead, settling for a number of compositional devices that allow his work to create its own atmosphere, full with effects that sometimes recreate a religious setting, like the use of parallelisms. Who are and why? Very interesting. Right, let's go and move on. You want to see this it done again? I don't. It's it's really it's really mind rack numbing to do. It's 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 so. It's so mentally draining. No, I'd rather do this one where I can just scream at people. And over the sound of the second movement, too. Alright, I should really hire some help, huh? Yo, help! Oh, some stuff, mate, alright? You don't make this stuff. I'm gonna fire you. As in, I'm gonna throw you into a bleeding fire, yeah? There's gonna be blood over it. Your blood is gonna be. It's gonna stink, okay? You, you stink. And, um, make me a sandwich. Alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, one of these. Do those. Right. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. It's very important that we make sure and not rule over. Okay, okay, come on. Stop, no, no. No. Alright, I'm thinking it. If I can only manage to avoid... Having things spill over, I will be able to make a huge improvement. Nice. Okay. One of these coffee beans. And two of these. One of that. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Pa. Pa. You have let me down, Pa. You suck. Eat. Ah. Pa wanted. No, please, no. You. You. Ah. Pa, you stop killing me! I don't like being killed! Stop it! Stop it, Pa! Oh, pa, you bastard! Ah, oh, alright, Pa, throw you in an incinerator. Who's next to help me? Hmm? Hmm? I was completely imaginary! 
as was the fire. What are you complaining about? What, you crazy as me complaining that I threw you into a fire that does not exist? Well, that's, that's really something. Yes, I, I know exactly what you... Where you been? No, stop! Okay. You've been off the deep end, haven't you, Bar? You've gone ahead and fallen off the deep end. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Okay, we're not letting anything drop. Okay, we're going to catch everything before it disappears. No, 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 before it overruns, you know? Oh, stop running over. I can't even go to the next machine, which means I can't... All right, I see a lot of these things. All right, I'm not going over this side for a while. All right, I've made myself clear. Okay. Chocolate. No, I meant one chocolate. Oh, gosh, darn it. Okay, double cocoa. And what am I going to make here? Oh, one of these things. Not cocoa, it's a coffee bean. It's a bleeding coffee bean. All right. Just cream and cream. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, one of these. One of those, right? Okay. All right, I just assume that's correct. All right, one of these. No, stop. One of these. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, hopefully... All right, I'm just wasting coffee at this point. It's really that hard to go and check what I really need to be me, me making. All right, well, looks like it's been fun. We nearly... Ah, I missed four. The best ever. We what? Oh, come on. I know I've never done better than missing four only. You are joking. You have got to be kidding me. Star search. So it's six. It's a, a string quartet. And it includes a piano and a violin. Interesting. So basically, it's a string quartet. It's like a double concert now, but. What is happening? No, not like a double concert. What is it like? It's like a. It's got a. It's got a. Alright, oh, there's a string quartet. I'm playing as the orchestra. For a concerto that involves. The, okay, 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 I know what it is. It's a sonata and a string quartet. We've got a violin and piano. A duet, as you, if you will, sort of. It's called like a duet. And we've also got, meshed in that, the, um, the string quartet, yes, that's it, that is what you're hearing. And you're also hearing an idiot ramble, but I'm, I'm, I assume you realize that. Okay, and uh, no. I must look for something else. There is something else in this here. What is it? What is it? You are spinning the wrong way! And my victory here is all spinning away. That's a Mass Effect reference from a single mission. For some reason, I enjoyed that mission. Oh, well, maybe I just remember it. Not necessarily because I enjoyed it. Uh, mm, distinction. Distinction. However, I will remember killing all these and singling out these stars. That is very memorable. And memorable in the way that it is very fun to do. <laughs> You're spinning the wrong way. Good, we've got lag up in here. Ah, just sort of guessed on that. There were so many things pointing weirdly. Where would you look at that? I did well, didn't I? They ended on 159. Hmm, done better though. Eh, whatever. Right. Oh, it's a long episode. End it now.
Right, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Because because of this. Because and I need to edit, and that takes a long time to. Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah.